Two plus two is four. Quick math. Quick math. Oh, welcome to Jungle Beach. Oh, my name is Alexander Man, and here with me is my good friend and a co-host. Or host. I could be co-host. I don't know what to say. How do I get? How do, who knows how we get views? <laughs> who knows how anyone subscribed anyway, to us? This is Alexander Sandalis, and we're here today to do Joji's latest EP. In tongues. In tongues. Um, I'm pretty excited right now. Um, it's, it's six tracks. We've heard Will He. We've, we reviewed that single. Mm -hmm. Enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. Though we just did it half an hour ago. Um, <laughs> let's let's clarify, clarify that. What are you expecting from here right now? I'm expecting exactly what I heard from Will He. I'm expecting yep. really, really soft, lace sort of production. I'm expecting a lot of piano. I'm expecting a lot of mellow vibes. A lot of it, like... I, I don't expect too much... Lyrically, I'd expect like a few a few lyrics repeating themselves, a few thoughts thrown here and about. I just expect to be sort of taken away on this sort of hypnotizing, sort of just like sleepy ride. Mm -hmm. And that's what I'm feeling. That's what I'm going to get from the six track EP. So Chloe Burbank has obviously been scrapped, and now we're getting this. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's some version of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we've also reacted to that that tape as well. The fan made. Anyway, support us on Patreon if you want. If you want some Jungle Beats merch. We now got an option where you can get Jungle Beats merch in exchange Ooh. for being a Patreon. Ooh. It's a new, it's a new little tier. Ooh. Enjoy. Otherwise, we're gonna get right into it. No waste, no more damn time. Shout out to Big Quinn. Indeed. It's one thing we don't do here is waste time. Yeah, right. Have you, have you heard this before? I feel like I might have heard this before. I think I heard this before too. Oh. Two plus two is four. Quick math. <laughs> Track one from In Tongues called Will He by Joji. You guys want to see our full thoughts? We uh, clicked the corner of the screen. We did a single track review. So it's all up there. But quick recap because second listen can be different. I liked it better than the first time. I felt like some of the distractions I had in the first one were a bit more melded. So just get lost in it. You just get lost in it. It's a good track. Yeah, lyrically, I didn't pick up too much more than I did the first time. Um, we'll dive into Rap Genius later. Right now, I just want to feel it. Right, it's all about that first listen. It's all about just being. <laughs> Next track. <laughs> of like um you know those those clappers like the bits of wood that mm -hmm, clap against each mm -hmm. other it sounded like maybe one of those i thought it was dope pills joji track two on the ep um it's kind of like what i expected very sort of like melodic tones sort of a bit of repeating just the whole zone the whole like hypnotizingness of the track I like the point. It reached a point in the song where it really hit a high crescendo when it just got as vibrant yeah, and as yeah. loud. It's kind of like there's more color added to it. That's a great, great word. Colorful. It got a lot more colorful. I love that point of the song. Then it kind of tapered down in the end. So mm, Even his voice like raised that extra octave and there was like another layer yeah. added to it as well. Yeah. I mean... Please don't run away. I think this whole... the six tracks. I think I have a feeling this whole mixtape, EP, whatever you want to call it... it might be exploring a certain experience in a short amount of time and just all of his emotions from that point or one woman or one experience or something like that maybe it's all it's all connected but like just a feeling like i'm not in love with it but by means i'm definitely enjoying it so yeah <laughs> Thank you. 
track so far I thought I don't know just the way that it was driven like it just had like a bit more a bit more cohesiveness to it because the last two tracks definitely had that but like both those beats felt a little off to me this one felt a bit more it just didn't feel off felt like tighter felt, 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 yeah okay. and just some of the instruments like it just sounded like like household appliances like like kitchen yeah. appliance like kitchen utensils banging against each other yeah. sort of in this track a bit so and we're noticing like the tone of the album or the EP mm -hmm. It's all very similar so far. Yeah, and just the just the way that the beat carries like, and then the, the slow like the in the rhythm. Background. Yeah, I love the rhythm of this track. That's it's a great. Beautiful. That's a great word, rhythm. The just, rhythm is cohesive. It carried me the whole way through. Like the last two tracks, I was just sort of sitting there, just like not really moving, just really just letting myself get drifted away. But this one was the same, but I was moving to it. Okay, so. I think it's like a good, a, it's a good little summary right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, like I'm a, I appreciate the aesthetic and the sonic aesthetic he's going for. Mm-hmm. Nothing really OT over analyzed no, right no, no, no. now. I'm 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 cool, man. Not all, man. But next up, we got motherfucking window. <laughs> That beat was great. Then metallic drums like. I don't think I don't think it suited the aesthetic. I think I think uh, of the aesthetic of the EP so far. I think and you almost needed a, a, ver or a rap verse on that would be more suitable than a atmospheric, calm, melodic. Fuck. Uh, I feel Georgie. that. It's still dope though. But you're right. Just compared to the first three tracks, it kind of like had that bit of extra oomph to it that didn't really sort of suit it. That's just my two cents. Still enjoyable. I still fucked with it. Let's get the next track. It makes it less cohesive. That's all. I'll give you $10 million if you can guess what the next track's called. It starts with a B, ends in a K. Black. Am I right? Nah, it's bitter fuck. <laughs> bitter fuck. Bitter fuck. <laughs> I made you think you got it. You seen to say it was two words. I was going to tell you that. I was Kid Cudi. Production? Yeah. Oh, am I wrong? Yeah. What? That's what I feel like. Oh, I could be wrong. I just might, my, my vibe. No, 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 no. I, I get what you're saying. It's a production. Oh, I thought it was going to pause then. The third track makes a lot more sense now with those drums because it's it fits in with the next track right there's right, a, right. a bit more paced so it kind of like blends in mm -hmm. and you said something about the sort of the guitar sounding a bit kick cutty ish yeah and the production at the start i said to him that it's a yeah. production sound a bit like kick cutty yeah, I, I get them vibes i can imagine like if the drum pattern was changed up a bit and you kept the guitar and added a bit more to its flavor it's exactly what he'd do um yeah i like that track it was really popped really well it's pretty obvious sort of what he was talking about that track obviously some certain person just made him feel bitter i think it's the same person maybe the whole thing you reckon over this whole that kind of well, i think it sounds like a relationship it sounds like a journey of a relationship so it's called in tongues because like it's like the body language is just speaking measures i did tell me on twitter can you open up our twitter indeed and while i do that i'll explain that that wasn't um one of my favorite tracks right there probably my least favorite um what's that just it didn't feel like it fit the aesthetic actually to be fair like he's building on it like the last note my our twitter jungle beast twitter oh. to be fair the last track did have drums and this has again a different drum pattern as well um 
just, I think it was a bit too repetitive for me. Okay, the Greek word tongues translates to languages. Um, mm -hmm. So it's kind of like they have their own language? What's, yeah. what's the term speaking in tongues mean? Like if you're speaking in tongues, you're speaking in a way that like... That's what I that decipher. Other, that other people can't decipher. Like, yeah, in different languages. That's, mm -hmm. that's how I, I post it on Twitter um, about that. You know, Jungle Beast Media at Twitter. So it's like the relationship is in like a way that they can't like, they don't understand each other because it's in a different way that they're not accustomed to. I feel like we might be onto something right there. Hmm. Correct us if we're wrong. Correct us if you know more information. Or if you know Joji and he's told you. <laughs> Last track. World Star Money Interlude. And World Star Money was a track. Was it? Heard. We've heard it? No, that's Charles Gambino. <laughs> what? Well, it's an interlude, so the outro is an interlude. So maybe it's like an interlude for his next project. <laughs> Hey, he loves that ukulele, doesn't he? We've heard this. Well, we've heard this ukulele. You man was ducking. And you went quack, 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 quack. What's that? Oh, yeah, just replaying. And that is Joji's In Tongues. Now, I think to wrap up the last song, World Star Money, I think we've heard a version of that song previously. We have, it was a shorter version. Tell us what it was, because memory. Um, it was off the. The other Joji album we did. I meant them. Yeah. But I remember I remember being shorter. I remember us specifically speaking, being like, that should be longer. Right. Because I think it was a snippet, the first one we heard. So that's the full version. I think the, from the, I think the first time from memory we listed, we were like, this needs a, like, a verse spat on it. And obviously it didn't. It didn't. It just had some like weird ambience with people talking or fighting or... I don't know. Conclusion. You want to go first or I want to go first? Oh, you want... I'm let you go first. I always go first. Um... This is a pretty safe EP. There's nothing too experimental or out of the box here. It's Joji just making uh, atmospheric, um, nice atmospheric music with a nice vibe and rhythm to it. Obviously, coming from a from a vulnerable place, it seems like at times. Can't decipher exactly what though. I need to dive more into it. But it's pretty safe. Probably won't go in a top 10 of many people for the year. Top 10 of any, many people's albums for the year. Um, yeah, I just think it's a nice album, you know? Nothing too special. I look forward to him venturing onto to new and different things. I'm very similar. I don't think it's memorable. Yep. I don't think it's great. I think it's good. Yep. I can go back to this if I want. If I'm at home and I'm trying to sleep or if I'm trying to do some work and I need something to take my mind great off point. this or take yep. the edge off, yep. I'll listen to this. Yep. I'll enjoy it. And I'll go back to it. But it's not going to be something I bring up as an album that changed the way I think. Like, because you're right. It's a very safe album. We've heard this sort of music from before, but he hasn't really released an actual hmm. piece of work like mm -hmm. uh, legally like this. So it's, I think it's just for people out there that haven't like tried to find his music. Like, this will be the easiest thing to find for him now. And it'll be a great introduction to those that haven't heard Joji's music already. So I hope that when he does decide to do his next bit of work, because last track was an interlude, so maybe that's going to interlude to another EP coming out. Like, I don't know what he's got planned, but I just hope he's a bit more experimental with his next bit of work. But like I said, I enjoyed it, but nothing special. To be fair, he's probably been wanting to release this for a little while. Yeah, 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 for sure. He's probably just fulfilling his own need to release this music, which is completely fair. Okay. Excuse me. It's not bad. What do you rate that... Uh... What do you rate that? Oh, we don't do ratings. I don't feel like I should do ratings for Jungle Beats food what, either. What do you think about the stroganoff? Oh, Is it stroganoff, right? Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a casserole dish. Like a beef, a uh, vegetable rice casserole dish for those curious. Weird. Weird. I don't Weird. know what that is. Um, thanks for, thank you guys for watching. Uh, please follow us. Follow, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Facebook as well because mm -hmm. we post the videos up on Facebook. Um, you can message us there if you want to chat as well. Um, and support us on Patreon if you want. Mm. You know, get behind the scenes. Uh, first access, or some Jungle Beats merch. All of that ish. Um, good to be back in there. We'll try and get more shit like out for you. I feel we'll do Big Crit right now. 
Yeah, yeah. We, we and then we'll do injury reserve maybe next week or the week after. Mm, we get a lot of shit to do, so stay tuned, y'all. Yeah. Oh, I nearly dropped it. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> All right, so. Boss, please give me the pussy, boss. <laughs> oh, please. Give me the pussy, please. <laughs> <laughs> boss, please. Boss, boss, please, boss. Please give me the pussy. <laughs> you go to the hospital. <laughs> go to the hospital. <laughs>